Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, this is our fifth session for straight lines. In the previous session, we discussed uh, some basic problems uh, regarding finding out the angles between two lines, the condition of parallelism and perpendicularity. In this session, we'll be taking more problems. And uh, once again, just a small suggestion, have your paper and pen ready with you and start solving the problems right with me. Okay? Now we take this problem. The lines this and this are parallel, perpendicular, this and this. Okay, here slope is given to you, y is equal to 2x and here y is equal to minus x by 2 plus 0 plus 0. So m1 is equal to 2 and m2 is equal to minus 1 by 2, right? So clearly you can see m1, m2 is equal to 2 into minus 1 by 2, that is minus 1, right? So if m1, m2 is equal to minus 1, that is the condition of perpendicularism, okay? That means both the lines are perpendicular to each other. Where product of the slope is minus 1, that means the lines are perpendicular to each other, okay? Now, uh, if 1 upon AB dash plus 1 upon BA dash is equal to 0, then the lines this and this are, okay, parallel angle, okay. So, what we can do is, uh, we find out the slope of both the lines. First of all, I just take this line, it is, just go for the cross multiplication, BX plus AY is equal to AB so ay is equal to minus bx plus ab that means y is equal to minus b by x b by ax plus ab by a that means just b okay so m1 is equal to minus b by a that is slope of this line uh, this line i'm sorry similarly slope of this line x by b dash plus y by a dash so it is x a dash plus y b dash is equal to a dash b dash. So y b dash is equal to minus x a dash plus a dash b dash. So y is equal to minus a dash upon b dash x plus a dash. So m2 is equal to minus a dash by b dash. Okay, now we have got M1, we have got M2. Now what we do, since we don't know whether the lines are parallel, 60 degree, perpendicular and 30 degree, what, what we do, we try to find out the angle between the two lines. So that's very simple. 10 theta is equal to M1 minus M2 upon 1 plus M1 M2. That is the formula we have already discussed. Okay angle between two lines is given by m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2 so i put up the value of m1 and m2 over here so it is uh, minus b by a minus n minus it will be plus a dash by b dash upon 1 plus m1 m2 so it is b a dash upon uh, sorry m1 m2 b a dash by a b dash okay so just quickly take the lcm it is uh, a a dash minus b b dash upon a b dash so this a b dash will be cancelled out from this and it will be a b dash minus b a dash a a dash minus b b dash by a b dash minus b a dash that is 10 theta okay now we have been given that uh, 1 upon a b dash plus 1 upon b a dash is equal to 0 so if we simplify this what we will be getting b a dash plus a b dash upon a a dash b b dash is equal to 0 that means b a dash plus a b dash is equal to 0 right this by this is 0 that means numerator will be 0 denominator cannot be 0 so b a dash plus a b dash is equal to 0 b a dash plus a b dash is equal to 0 I'm sorry this is plus sign over here 
this plus. So B A dash plus A B dash is given to us as 0. That means 10 theta is equal to something by 0. That means not defined. Right? That means theta is 90 degree because 10 90 degree is infinity or we can say not defined. Okay? So the lines are perpendicular to each other. Okay? Next is, um, how do we find the equation of parallel and perpendicular lines to a given line? Okay, suppose we have been given a line that is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0, right? See, uh, if the two lines are perpendicular, product of the slope is um, uh, minus 1, right? Suppose I have line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So, slope will be minus a by b. Okay, so a uh, slope of the line that is perpendicular to it, that is M2 should be equal to B by A, right? That means the product of these two should be minus 1. Okay, you can directly put, uh, find out the slope. Just take the coefficient of X in numerator, coefficient of Y in the denominator with a negative sign. Okay, so minus A by B is the slope of this line. So the line perpendicular to this will have the slope as B by A. Uh, the product of these two is minus 1 that you can see very well. Okay, and here b y is equal to minus a x plus c, y is equal to minus a by b x plus c by b. So this is this line. Here the slope, I'm sorry, the line perpendicular to this will be y is equal to slope will be b by a x plus the constant will be nu. Right, we can not have the same constant, the new constant will be there. Okay, so these two lines are perpendicular to each other. Now, if we have to find out the line that is parallel to this line, in that case, slope will be same. Okay, so y is equal to minus a by b x plus uh, maybe uh, maybe any other variable, say uh, maybe p. Okay. So these two lines are parallel since the slopes are same. These two lines are perpendicular to each other. Okay. So if slopes are same, the lines are parallel. If product of the slope is minus 1, then the lines are perpendicular. Okay. Pretty simple. Uh, we try to do some problems on the same concepts. Now, uh, on the same concept, we try this problem. The equation of a line passing through this point and perpendicular to this line. Okay, uh, we have to find out the equation of a line that is perpendicular to this line. That means slope of this line is actually uh, minus 3 by 4. Slope of 3x plus 4y minus 5 is equal to 0 is minus 3 by 4, right? So slope of line perpendicular to this line is 4 by 3 okay so what I do is I assume the equation of the line as y is equal to mx plus c or y is equal to 4 upon 3x plus c okay this is the equation of the line that is perpendicular to this line okay but we don't know the value of c but since we are given that this line is passing through 3 and minus 4, okay? So, I put uh, uh, 3 as x and uh, minus 4 as y because this line is passing through 3 minus 4. This line is passing through 3 and minus 4. So, if this line is passing through 3 and minus 4, then this point should satisfy this line. So y is minus 4 is equal to 4 upon 3, x is 3 plus c, okay? So c is equal to minus 8, okay? So what is the equation of line? y is equal to 4 upon 3x plus c. Instead of c, I put minus 8. And we just can simplify it. 3y is equal to 4x minus 24 or we can say 4x minus 3y is equal to 24. 
So this is the equation of the line that is perpendicular to this given line 3x plus 4y is equal to 5. So what we have? Uh, 4x minus 3y is equal to 24. 4x minus 3y is equal to 24. So that is option D. Okay, if you simplify this, you will be getting the same. Similarly, equation of line passing through this point and parallel to this line. Uh, see, we have various methods to solve this problem, right? Uh, first of all, we can write down uh, an equation of line which is passing through 1 and 2. We know one point form that is y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. So, this is x1, y1, okay? So, y minus 2 is equal to m x minus 1. Okay. Now this line and this line, both of them are parallel. So if the two lines are parallel, their slopes must be equal. So slope of this line is what? 3. Y is equal to m x plus c. C is minus 1 and m is 3. So slope of this line is 3. So slope of the parallel uh, line uh, should also be 3. So instead of m, I just put 3. So y minus 2 is equal to 3x minus 1. Okay, so this will be the equation of the line parallel to this line which is passing through point 1 and 2. Okay, and alternatively what you can do is a uh, slope of this line will be uh, same that is 3x plus and I assume this to be C, constant to be C. Now this line is passing from point 1 and 2. Okay. This is the line that is parallel to this line. Y is equal to 3x minus 1 and y is equal to 3x plus c is parallel. We have to find out the value of c. Now this line is passing from 1 and 2. So instead of y, I put 2. Instead of x, I put 1. So c is equal to minus 1. So the line will be y is equal to 3x minus 1. Uh, coincidentally, it is uh, showing the same line. That means precisely this line, y is equal to 3x minus 1, is the same line that is passing through point 1 and 2. Okay, so if you put 1 and 2, um, instead of x and y respectively, you will be getting, uh, the, the equation will be satisfied. Okay. So this is how we solve. You can opt any of the method, uh, y my one point form or this method, any of them. Now, Equation of the line parallel to this line and passing through the middle point of line segment joining this and this point. Okay, so precisely it is 1, 3 and 1, minus 7 and the required line is passing through the midpoint. Okay, so first of all what we can do is we can find out the uh, coordinates of midpoint. So coordinates of min midpoint is x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2. So x1 plus x2 by 2 that is 1 plus 1 by 2. So it is 1 only. Then 3 minus 7 by 2. So it is minus 4 by 2. So it is minus 2. Okay, that means this line is passing through point 1 and minus 2 and slope will be equal to the given line. Here the slope is m is equal to, it is 2 by 3. Okay. Now we have got slope, we have got one point. So you can directly use the one point form y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. So y minus y1 is 2 minus 2, so it will be y plus 2. m is equal to 2 by 3. x minus x1 that is 1. So this is the equation of the line which is parallel to this line and which is passing through the midpoint of uh, the line joining these two points. Okay, so if you simplify you will be get, uh, getting the answer. I hope it's clear to you. Now, uh, equation of two straight lines passing through point this and making an angle of 45 degree with this line R. Okay, uh, see this is the situation, right? Uh, we have to find out equation of two straight line passing through point 3, 2 and making an angle of 45 degree with this line. Suppose this line is x, y, x minus 2, y is equal to 3, this line, right? So the two lines can be 
this line or this line. So this line will also make the angle of 45 degree and this line will also make the angle of 45 degree. So we can get the equations of two lines or, will, or, or, or in other words I can say we can get two lines, two such lines which are making angle 45 degree with this given line. Right? Now suppose uh, the slope of this line is m1 and slope of this line m2 an angle between them is already given that is 45 degree so we have 10 theta that is theta is the angle between the two lines m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2 okay here theta is 45 degree okay so I put uh, theta is 45 degree so 10 45 is 1 okay and here I treat is the slope of this line as m3. Okay, we'll be getting the two values of uh, m2 over here. So one of them will represent the slope of this line and other will represent the slope of this line. So 10 45 degree is equal to m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2 and 10 45 is 1. So m1 that is slope of this line. Now slope of this line is what? 1 by 2. Okay, so M1 is 1 by 2 minus M2 is equal to 1 plus M1 is half M2. Okay, and uh, since we are having two lines, so we'll be getting the lines by putting the sign as plus minus. Okay, initially I choose the plus sign. So I'll be getting half minus M2 is equal to 1 plus half M2. So half minus 1 is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 that is 3 by 2 M2. So half minus 1 is minus 1 by 2. So M2 is equal to minus 1 by 3. So slope of one line, one of these will be minus 1 by 3. And slope of other line, I just choose the negative sign. So M1 minus M2, that is half minus M2 is equal to negative 1, right? So that is 1 plus M1, M2. So M1 minus M2 is half minus M2 is equal to, uh, I'll be uh, now taking minus sign. So it is minus 1 minus M1 M2. So it is half M2. Okay. So now 1 plus 1 by 2 is equal to M2 minus half M2 that is half M2. So half M2 is equal to 3 by 2, that means M2 is equal to 3. So slope of one line is 3, slope of other line is one minus 1 by 3. Okay. Now the lines are passing from point uh, 3 to. So equation of line, we got one point form, y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. Right. So points are 3 and 2. So y minus uh, 2 is equal to m x minus 3. Now once you have to choose the slope as 3 and uh, other case you have to choose the slope as minus 3. So by putting 3 you will be getting equation of one line. By putting minus 1 by 3 you will get the equation of other line. Right? So the problem is really simple, very simple concept we have used over here. Equation of two straight line passing through point 3 to uh, and making an angle of uh, uh, 45 degree, right? So this is the point 3, 2 from which both the lines are passing, okay? This is uh, making angle 45 degree with uh, this line. So this equation of this line is already given x minus 2 y is equal to 3. So this angle is 45 degree, this angle is 45 degree. Okay, so using this uh, angle formula between two lines, we got the slope of the two lines and point we already know. So we just use one point form to find out the equation of lines. Okay, so I hope that's enough for this session. In the next session, we'll be taking more concepts, more problems on straight line. Bye-bye.